Hi, my name is Peer. In this video, I'll show you how to collaborate on GitHub with a shared repository. Let's try to have a look at my screen here. Now, um, here you see GitHub and a repo that I uh, share with some of my most esteemed colleagues. Um, it was initiated by Morten, as you see here. And you can see that, that all of us contribute to a certain extent to the code. I have the minor share here, you can see, and uh, my colleagues has a major share. But um, you can collaborate on GitHub. And if you want to do that, here I want to go to my own repository. If you want to collaborate on a repository, you have to make sure that you're logged in. You can check that up here. If you're uh, uh, either avatar or your image is up here, then you are logged in. And um, first of all, what you want to have is a repository. If you want to start a repository for a project, then probably it would be a good idea to just go to the repositories and create a new one for yourself and your fellow students. So here you can see it. And here's the repository. And we'll just make one called My Project. And here's the description. Oh, again, this one is available. Yeah, GitHub will actually tell you if you have um, uh, used the name before. So uh, probably I used that name before. But now we have one called my project again, and it could be any project that you work on. Here we can have a small description. And then as soon as this has finished, you can choose whether you want to have a readme file. I always think it's a good idea to have that. Um, and um, gitignore could also be a good idea. It's like if you have some files that you would like to ignore. Uh, in this case, I don't create it, but I'll just create the repository right away. Now you can see that the repository has been created. And um, in order to get the code on my own system, I could go in here in the code and click on this icon or simply copy this URL. And then you can go to your GitHub um, desktop. If you go in there, you would have to click on this Add button. You can say Clone Repository. and you and your fellow students might want to do this with a link. And um, then you choose where you want to save your stuff. I like to have mine in a folder called GitHub for some reason. And if I open this one, I'm ready for the clone. Now I can see that uh, everything is ready. If I click the, this blue button, then probably the repository will be ready for me. And if I go to the folder and go to GitHub, then you can see that my project again is here. We only have a readme file and that's actually okay. Um, if you use GitHub desktop, the program will kind of look at your code in the background. So whenever changes occur, you can actually go in and uh, do stuff with it. Just for an example, I'll create a few files and I'll do that in a fast way. So I'll just cd to this folder. And now you can see the readme file. And then I'd like to add a couple of files, for instance, index.html and styles CSS and probably a JavaScript file, something like that. This would be the typical content of, uh, of a project. Now you see that we have some empty files. There is absolutely no designing in here, but uh, we have some files. And if you go back to um, GitHub Desktop now, you may be able to see that uh, some files have changed. If you see them over here, they are changed on my system. 
So probably it would be a very, very good idea to uh, give them a description down here. Test and test again. And then if I say commit to main, you can see that now the files are ready to be pushed. Now I push them. And bingo, the files are online. If we update the repository here, now you can see that my files are there. So uh, the repository is ready to get shared. Now, if you want to share a repository with uh, some of your colleagues, you can click on settings. And you should go to manage access. And here they want your password. So I'll add that one here. Oh. That was the correct password. Yeah, I don't use it every day. So, uh, but in we are, uh, and here you can actually manage access, invite a collaborator, and here you can just write the person's email. So, uh, if I want to invite myself or my colleague Murat, for instance, then I can add him, and uh, if I click this green button. He will get an email, he'll get invited, and then he should accept it. As soon as uh, my colleague has accepted uh, this invitation, he will be able to create a clone of the project, and it's done in exactly the same way as I showed you on, uh, in, in the beginning of this video. He would have to uh, copy the code you see here, he would have to open GitHub Desktop, say I want to clone a repository, and then he would enter the URL here, and you can see that I have it already, so I won't do this again. But uh, then he would have to, uh, to push, and then he would have a copy of the files, and now he would be allowed to push and pull uh, files as the work goes on. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Now you know how to clone a repository, share it with a fellow student, and if he or she wants to have a copy of the code, he should make a copy of it and clone it to his system. And then all of you would be able to work together on the code base. Good luck with this work.